Great. I mean, I just think, you know, being able to get out on the grass with the guys, watch them run around. I mean, it's why we do this, to, uh, to be able to get out there and practice football and have some fun together and slowly learn the system. So it was, it was a good day. Oh, it's great. I mean, it's all the guys. I mean, everybody's coming in. They're so fired up. They're so excited to get out there. I mean, in the end, that's what you want. You want guys to come out here. You want them to want to practice uh, and want to get better. In that. And I mean, Russ leads that charge. I mean, this guy loves practice. I mean, just out there at the end, he's like, wait, we're done? Like, can we do more? And you're like, ah, oh, man, I would love to. But uh, we got to tone it down, baby steps. But uh, but no, it's it's he's awesome. What are you doing at this point this season? Are you? When you're with Russ at this point, you're just, I know you're just installed, so it's just puzzle pieces, or do you go broad and then bring it back narrow? What no, do you that's a great, a great question. So we have a very, very large playbook, and uh, there's a process of how you teach everything, uh, kind of like the foundations of what you want to build. Like sometimes you have to uh, put plays in. You might not necessarily run, but that are in other parts of the playbook. So it's just kind of understanding and learning it the proper way so that when the guys are out there, they can react fast. So it's just a long kind of deal. All the things that we do today was kind of the um, very basics of what we do, and then we'll slowly start expanding expanding that with the guys as we move forward through phase two and OTAs. It's voluntary, uh, but how important was it to have so many guys out here attended, especially for the new staff and, and getting to coach those guys? I mean, it's just great to be around the guys. And, and again, we want to create that environment that people want to be here um, and that they're excited to be here. And the more guys we get, I mean, I'm excited just to get to know them, especially for me, you know, first guy, first time being here with all the coaches, you know, just had a couple weeks with them. It's just about to get to just about getting to know the guys. Decent uh, advantage, would you say, getting this extra? Because First, only the first time coaches get it, right? Correct. I think obviously it definitely helps. I think it's it's primarily for those first time guys because the other guys they go into it they've already been doing it for a year, um, so it's definitely an advantage from the standpoint of being a first time guy. But still, there's a long way to go for us. Long way. When you're a first time head coach, uh, some of your predecessors aren't always sure where to stand during practice or where to go. Do you have that mapped out yet, or is this? I, I'm just going all over the place. Just want to be around everybody, you know, uh, focusing on the offense. But, I mean, it's about defense, special teams, and everything. So just want to be around them all. Hey, what do you think the biggest thing you're trying to get out of these these three days is, uh, you know? Or, or... I think efficiency, operation, understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. I, I think if we can get those, that'll be great. I mean, there's so many things you want to do, and you want to start game planning or going against DiGero and say, hey, this is how you attack it. But, it's again, it's about those baby steps. It's one step at a time. And just watching the guys be able to execute, get out of the huddle, get up there, just have a cadence, be able to get off the rock and play football. That's really what you're looking for. What's your role been during the draft process, and, and what do you want to bring to, to George? Yeah, I want to be there for him. I mean, he's done an amazing job um, just evaluating everybody, setting the board, all that stuff. And um, it's been great to be part of that. And, and, and any questions that he has or anything that I've been able to be a part of, I, I've done. And um, it's just been a great communication between the two of us and the whole group. I mean, that whole scouting group has been awesome. I mean, just hearing them talk, hearing them read their reports. I mean, they're so detailed. Uh, they're very convicted, which is great. And um, it just uh, that open dialogue is what you're looking for so that we're all on the same page and uh, feel great about where we are right now. Uh, you know, I try to put in as much as I possibly can. There's so much to be done. And, you know, it's just about the organization of your time. Um, you're not going to be able to get to everything that those guys do right now because there's so much that we have to do out on this field and get ready for the season. So um, whatever I can, and there's a, sometimes they'll spe uh, specify certain people to kind of concentrate on a little bit more, different groups and stuff like that, and kind of get a feel for each one of those guys. So uh, I'm just working for those guys, trying to support them as much as possible. Hold on, that's a big plane right now. Could it? experience receiving core. What are you looking for them out of this camp to match with Russ? Uh, I mean, I'll tell you, it's fun. First of all, those are some big dudes out there. I mean, they walk out there and they, they really look good and then they can run. And, you know, I just think it's about them all getting that dialogue with each other. You know, because Russ has been with a bunch of other guys. Now he's coming in. Same thing with them. They're getting used to Russ. So it's about that communication, watching them understand how they're going to run the routes, how he's going to throw the ball. So it's just one of those processes that's going to take some time. But it's just great to see their conversations. I mean, that's what you want. You said when you worked with Aaron, you appreciated he challenged you every day and you had to be ready. What's that been like with Russ, that process? It feels like he must be <laughs> very much the same. No, it's, it's very much the same from the challenge standpoint. Uh, it's a little different, uh, but from the standpoint of you know, I mean, I mean, Russ, I mean, he, he's he's always he's asking a lot of questions and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I and it's not really to compare either of those guys. They're both great players, and uh, but it's fun to be with Russ because he's always on it. Always wants to know the answer. Always wants to know the why. Always wants you to keep continually work with him, and I, I really appreciate that about him. What's your, what's your
Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the offense is my first priority right now, just getting that installed, making sure that's processed. But I'm very lucky to have a guy like Coach Outen who knows it, understands it, like Clint, Butch, all those guys. So um, I think as we kind of get through these first couple days and then be able to talk with Ejero, especially watching the offense, attacking his defense and understanding how he does it, those are things that we'll have private conversations about to make sure that we're getting everything we need done on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, I always wanted to play running back when I was younger. Actually, I wanted to play all the positions. But um, no, I, you know, I think you want to make everything game-like as much as possible. And especially in the play pass world, all those things, you want that quarterback always to feel somebody back there. Um, we Obviously, we don't have all those guys. There's some special teams going on now. But that's why you saw uh, Coach Wheatley, you know, all those guys. You know, we got to get out there. We got to give them a look. So our job is to support them and make it look as realistic as possible. I feel like I gave it a realistic look. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Let's not talk about that right now. How encouraging was it to see KJ Hamler back out there running around? I mean, it's unbelievable. There, there was one time we had a RVA, and he ran a out route over there, and I, I just kind of nodded my head, saying, "Wow!" I mean, that's just just great to see. You know, I mean, all, all the guys, you know, anybody, everybody's working so hard. They all want to be out on the field, and you know, you appreciate that as a coach. They want to contribute to the team. How involved are you in terms of what he can do or not in dialing him back? You just let the trainer. If he's out there, you let him run. Our, our doctors, our trainers are amazing here, and you know, I trust them. And, and it's about doing it the right way. You know, we don't want to rush it too fast. We want to do what's right for him. When do you expect him to be a full participant, whether it's this offseason or in training camp? Yeah, I think, again, it's it's about just kind of that process and making sure we don't push it too hard, we do, we're pushing it enough, and just make sure he does all the right things to get out there when he can. Nate, do you expect Randy Gregory to be ready for training camp at this point? Or is it you know, again, again, right now, we're just kind of working through everything. Do you incorporate a chunk of Seattle's playbook with, with Russ here, do kind of a hybrid offense, uh, so to speak? As you, as you build, you, you, you know, I, I think we were real lucky because watching Russ's all of his uh, tape for years now, it's been a lot of the same stuff that I've done both at Green Bay, at Jacksonville. Um, so we've just kind of combined everything. You know, we want to make a Denver Bronco offense. It's not just a Seattle. It's not just uh, Green Bay or Jacksonville. It's really, you know, us just kind of getting everything out there and finding out what's right for us. So there's some components of that for sure. And really, in the end, it's about what Russ does really good and what those wide receivers do. So right now, we're still formulating that. The, the verbiage as well? like It's a combination. It's a combination. I think the whole thing is why. You know, why do you call certain things the way you call them? And, and you want to make sure that you're doing everything the right way so it triggers the guys in their heads. So we've kind of just revamped everything. I'm sure, that you, more for the coach. I'm sure that you feel like maybe you've been groomed for this all your life. But if you had a moment in the last couple of weeks or today or whenever where you've said to yourself, I'm the guy. I'm in charge. This, this is my this is my deal. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't think I have. I mean, it's about us. It's not just about me. Um, you know, I'm very grateful to be up here in front of you guys and speaking for these this team and these guys. But, I mean, in the end, it's about this team. It, I mean, it's about all of us working together. It takes all 11 on the field. There's a lot of different groups of 11 that go out there. It's about all the coaches, all the trainers, all the equipment guys, everybody, other, everybody in the cafeteria. I mean, uh, PR people, everybody, y'all, all of us, we're all part of this thing. So I think it's, uh, you know, I don't think I will. I mean, I just think I'll keep doing what I do and uh, just happy to be standing here in front of y'all. Have you gotten a sense of what it means to be the head coach of the Broncos now that you've been out in the community, you've been at Nuggets games and kind of what this means to these people here? I mean, a lot more people recognize me, which has been a little bit different. Um, but I think, uh, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, the community is amazing. I mean, just being part of it. I mean, just being there to support the Denver Nuggets, I mean, has been awesome. I mean, watching them through their playoff battle and watching to them play uh, as hard as they have and come up with a win. And uh, I mean, it's just about being part of everything. I mean, it was funny, you know, it, even going to the game the other day, it's like the crowd. I mean, it was cool for me to be the fan in the stands. And you realize how important that is to those players. And as a coach on the sideline, you want so much from the fan because that means so much to us, how they are, how they react, how they scream, how they yell. I mean, it, it really, I mean, it affects us down there. And it's fun to be part of that. And, you know, we're grateful for the community. And we know they're going to bring it during the season. That's the only thing I know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I like the music. I mean, it keeps, uh, you know, if I don't have it, I start freaking out. I mean, you, you know, you always want to hear that stuff. It keeps it, I mean, heck, I mean, for some reason, I feel like on game day, it's pretty loud and there's a lot of things going on. So I think distractions to a certain extent are good in different music, different people saying things. I mean, that's how it is on game day. So you want to create that environment as much as possible. Uh, we just told him to mix it up right now, but uh, but I'll probably say a couple things. You know, this is, I gave everybody their first shot. You know, and see what happens now.
Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. All right, y'all.